Hello there my good friends. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to do a mail merge in Microsoft Word. Um, this could save you a ton of time when you're sending out letters or direct mail to lots and lots of people. It's not really as common as it used to be because people are using cheaper methods nowadays so they're using email marketing, social media and stuff like that. But direct mail can still be a very very important part of your marketing mix because it's not being used as much. It's kind of disruptive. But before I start, please heed one warning. Test it on one document before you print. Because how many times have I done it where I've printed on the wrong side of my letter-headed paper and 20 copies are coming out and I'm wasting 20 letterhead papers instead of just the one. So please, please, please remember to do that. Okay, so I've made this video and there is um, six steps. So, well, there's five steps and a bonus step of the envelopes, to be honest with you. So make sure you stay to the end. The first step is to write a letter. So as you can see, I've got Microsoft Word open. I've written um, a rough letter to Mr. Bill Gates, um, and I've set it out exactly as I wanted it to. If I had a letterheaded paper, I might consider not putting my address there if it's already on the letterhead or whatever way you want it. Um, do remember, in the UK, your address goes top right and theirs goes top left. And I've written the letter, and that's all good. But we want this to be dynamic. We want to send this to lots of people. So we want this address to change. We want this name to change. You could actually change the address if you wanted to, or, or whatever else you wanted to do. So in this case, I will never need to change my address. It will always be the same. I will need to change their address. I'll need to change the name. And there's nothing else here that I want to change, but I'll show you how to do it, and you could do it if you wanted to. So the first thing I need to do is start the mail merge. So step one is to write my letter. Step two is to put my data together in a spreadsheet. So here's my dummy spreadsheet. And I've just made these columns up here. Um, I would say at the very least, you're probably going to need the address columns. Um, if you're in a different country, obviously change it as necessary. And here I've put a salutation, forename and surname. You could also include company name. You can include um, their industry or you know the date of the event if you've got multiple events whatever it is it doesn't matter put the columns in there and make it work so back to um, our uh, document you need to go up the top here to mailings and then you can go to start mail merge once I've done that the first thing I'm going to do is do this step-by-step -step mail merge wizard easiest way to do it first thing it's going to ask me is what I'm doing and at the moment I'm doing letters. I will show you how to do envelopes afterwards. And there are labels you can do. If you've got printed labels from um, you know, a stationery store, you can put them in and they print them all in nice places. So that's another good one. But we're just doing letters, so I'll skip through that. First thing it's going to do is um, use the carting document um, as my template, which is why I've written it first. And it's asking me about my list. I'm going to use an existing list. And I'm going to use that spreadsheet that I just showed you guys. Um, let's see if we can find it. And dummy mail merge. So it's going to ask me to select a table. I've only got one in there, so I'm OK. First row contains headers. Mine does, if you remember. The top is just the name of the columns. So that's correct. So I'll leave that ticked and press OK. And it's going to bring up this menu, show you what it's brought in, and you can just press OK. And now I can move to the next step in the bottom right. And now it's going to ask me um, what I want to do with things. So this is where you put in, in your, your form values. So actually, I haven't got a um, company name, so I'll just delete that one. And I'm going to start entering in more items. So in this case, I have got... Uh, address 1, address 2, city, county, postcode. Uh, and now I'm going to close. I'll just double click to insert them. You can click the insert button as well. And now I'm just going to um, space these out correctly. And now I'm going to put that down. And now I can delete the other bits because we're going to use the other parts. And for the salutation, I will put the salutation that we've put. And I'll put the surname uh, and I'll close. So I'll put a space between them and I'll get rid of gates. So now I have everything that I need for this. So I can click to preview my items. And you can see that I can click through here. It's very important that you do this and check that there aren't any mistakes. So you can see I've run out of fields now, so I'll just go back to the beginning. The reason you check this it helps you to spot things like this where there are gaps. 
I don't actually know a way to solve that problem, so sorry if you experience it. Um, I haven't really found a way to uh, ignore if empty. Um, if you do know a way, just write in the comments, please help me out and help everyone else out. But the main thing is I, I've got to check that it's formatted correctly and it looks okay. The right data is coming up. All looks good to me. I'll go back to the beginning. And now I'm going to complete the merge. Now the first thing he's going to want to do is print. In this case, as I said at the very beginning of this video, please just print the current record. You're printing one copy. If you put your letter-headed paper in the wrong way around or whatever else, then you won't have, you know, you'll only mess up one letterhead. And if you're just printing on plain paper, you probably don't need to worry about this. But even so, if there is a mistake, you don't want to print like a thousand copies or something and then go, oh, that doesn't look right. And then you have to wait for it all to finish printing and do it all again. So please, please, please just press current record. Once I do that, it will print it out as per this. Now, I said I'd give you a bonus tip, and that is the envelopes. So another thing you can do with mail merge is envelopes. So... Um, if I go to create envelopes, as you can see, it's put all of the wrong information in there. So there's a better way of doing it. If I finish my mail merge now, I've printed out my letters, so I'm going to go again. I'm going to start a mail merge with envelopes. And you see there's some settings here which you can change if you want. I don't need to, so I'll just click OK. Uh, it's going to delete the existing contents of the envelope, which I'm fine with because I'm replacing them. And now I've got this problem where I've got the wrong information. You can see there's a little grey box, which is kind of the window where it would get printed. Um, so I'm just going to put a space there so I don't mess it up. And I can go up the top here and insert merge field. So I'm going to insert um, salutation, press space, and I'm going to insert the surname. In fact, I'll insert the first name as well. That's quite common on the letter, isn't it? And a space. Uh, I'll get rid of all of this now. And, and now I'm going to insert all the rest of it quickly. So in that case it was blank, so it pressed insert and nothing happened. And again, that one's blank. And I'll put postcode. Now you're thinking, why am I left the blank ones? Why am I making an extra space? Well, if I turn off this at the top preview results, you see that it's actually inserted them. It's just no data there but there might be for another one. So if I leave it like that, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. This one's got loads more. So if I deleted one, it wouldn't be a, it would be a problem. But what I really want to do on this stage is um, select it, make sure it's the right size, um, and make, make sure it doesn't go below this uh, bottom part. If it does, and I'm worried about that, then I might well just uh, do something like that. And then you know makes it a bit neater. Uh, you can also do other things like put the return address on the back and stuff like that. I don't need to in this case, so I'm just going to go finish a merge, and then I'll go to print documents. Again, I would always print the current record. And when you're printing envelopes, so or maybe even letterhead the paper, sometimes you might need to go to your properties and just choose your rare tray, stick them in the back of your printer. If you haven't got that option, you just put them in the bottom of the printer. There is an icon on the printer which tells you which way up to put the paper and whether to put it front or back. So have a look at that. And as I said, just print one so you don't make a mistake. Okay, that's everything I've got for you on Mail Merge. It's a really, really useful tool. Uh, I learned it years and years ago. It hasn't really been as, as much in use. But if you do find it useful, please write it in the comments. Tell me what you got up to with it. Tell me how you used it. Uh, give others ideas if you've got them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe and comment and like.